Ready for arms? <laughs> uh, hi everyone. I'm just gonna play arms music and talk to you guys for a little bit. I think I got chat on. Chat doesn't want to. Oh, wait. Hi everyone. As you can tell by the hair, by looking awful, I just woke up. As I'm sure most of you did and didn't realize you were willing to ruin your sleep schedule for arms. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, I just looked over and saw him and it genuinely terrified me. <laughs> I don't have chat pulled up, so let's uh, let's do that one real quick. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> and that was good because it genuinely scared me. Um, it's 4 p.m. in Italy. That's true. You guys got that going on for you. Um, yeah, why do want my little, my little chat box for me? Is there a quick refresh? Well, I got one right here. Um, this, this screen, the chat works. Yeah. What time is it for me? Uh, this starts at 9 a.m. for me. Still say woo for arms. I just want to know who's willing to say woo for arms. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. All right, whatever. Uh, so let me talk about arms real quick. Is this the character that everyone around the world wanted? No, but I am still excited for him because they have sick character designs and slapping music, as you can tell right here. Wait. I can change the track and it only gets better. Oh! Yeah, so if they put this music in Smash with characters that look fire, I'm about it. Like, there is reason for me to be about this. And the funniest thing is that <laughs> despite saying these things, like, <laughs> you make one funny man sweet. <laughs> You just make one tweet right here, and people come at your head. <laughs> I thought this was such an innocuous tweet. I thought, like, everyone was going to see this and be like, yeah, clearly joking around. And, like, just the fact that Twitter now allows you to go through retweets with comments, that's where the real shit is. No one should have this power. <laughs> that's where people talk real shit on you. <laughs> no one should have that power to go through that. <laughs> oh, but... So let's talk about who... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh... Hmm. Who did I want in this game? So I think Springman would be an interesting addition. Not for, like, who he is, but for what he stands for. You know, his moral beliefs. No, but... Uh... If he gets in, that opens the door for a lot of assist trophies, because then I feel like the challenger pack might include stuff like Isaac, or which would be weird, but Knuckles, you know, like, who knows, maybe. And that'd open the door for Waluigi. I would like for uh, a character with a good character design, you know, and that's not just saying fat ass, but in this scenario, it is, because Twintel is very welcome. Ribbon Girl would be cool, but then, like, I boil the characters down, and I'm like, all right, Zoner with the Peach Float, or Zoner with four jumps. And, like, every time I think of how they would be implemented in the game, it just, it just scares me. Um, I think we're gonna be close enough on this, so we can just switch over here. But... Yeah, I'm really excited, but also terrified. And I know we aren't getting any other characters in this uh, reveal. Like, nothing else, so... I'm not expecting anything too crazy. I think Sakurai is going to show me a CGI trailer, talk about why that character's in, talk about ARMS, talk about what ARMS stands for, talks about the alternate costumes, and then talks about me costumes, shows us music, and then says goodbye, and... But first, before signing off, he counts to 31 in Braille. <laughs> oh, and thank you for all the donations. I haven't been, like, super active on those, but Lady Kitty for the 25. Really, Alley Cat King for 20. Um, Betting gets an arms character. Not, not a bad guess. Uh, 10 from Red Hood. 5 from Speed Pro Gaming. 
And then 100 from Ian Hards and Helix for Smash. I think Helix would be interesting. I welcome anything. I welcome any of the of the characters. Um, part of me, like, Springman would make sense, but then the whole Assist Trophy debacle, it makes me think that it's going to be a character like Max Brass or something who could still be a representative of ARMS, but doesn't necessarily get into that controversy, if you will. Min Mints, likely. Um, I think Ribbon Girl is like the most, like the, if I had to run the numbers through an algorithm, the numbers would spit out Ribbon Girl. Oh my god, Red Hair says $50 for Jotaro for Smash. That'd be fucking crazy. It won't happen, but like, what if? Mascot is always the first rep. That is so true. In every edition of Smash, they the mascot is always the first rep. But, given how unorthodox this reveal has been, I wouldn't be surprised if they just go a completely different route. Because... They never revealed a character like this. Be like, it's it's from this character is from the series. Look at series. Do you want character from series? You tell me. And I'm just like, this is so weird. It's just weird. It was weird. So um, I'm going to remove Ninja College, and then we're just going to sit here in absolute silence until the trailer starts. Oh, he keeps he keeps playing on my legs. Ah, say something to the people. That's understandable. You're very shy and it's very early for you. Ah, ah, trailer. Show me that CGI trailer. Oh, I forgot we're in Sakurai's house. Or he's got those lazy boys, eh? Sakurai <laughs> Yo, this is going to turn into a crib session? Oh, May 2nd. Oh, there's subtitles all over. Don't mind me. I'm tiny now. I'm a little curious. 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 God, working on Smash remotely just sounds so stressful. That's such a big project, and you're doing it from the comfort of your home. That's so much. What?! You didn't have a camera lying around? I mean, I understand the equipment they sent. I'm just surprised that he didn't have this handy. But hey, welcome to my crib. <laughs> I think he's probably the first developer from a lot of... Damn, you got it like that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that shot wasn't necessary. He's just flexing at this point. God, Sakurai's a gamer. I like that game playing on two separate screens at the same time so you can compete? He holds speedrun competitions? Damn! Bro, he's about to show like his pool full of gold and he's gonna Scrooge McDuck that bitch. <laughs> Ooh, what is ARMS? Such a good question. That's something you ask after you've been tripping for an hour. Famous for the thumbs up grip? I didn't realize that was a popular handle. Bro, he had that slinky on deck! <laughs> Sakurai came prepared. Mutant, <laughs> I like how he said, what is ARMS? I don't really know. I had to ask other people. <laughs> Which is understandable. Not all of us have that privilege when we didn't understand ARMS. Imagine saying, like, I didn't, ask, I didn't understand Inception, so I just asked Leonardo DiCaprio what it was all about. Don't go away, sweet prince. You're okay. Ooh, 
it's time. Yo! Yo, animation! Oh, I'm all about it. Remember the Link Pit trailer for the Politana one? Oh, this is so... Bite and bark. Are you going to have a remote character? Or like, partner... Oh, this is... This is good! Yeah! Arms! Oh. Is this going to be similar to the Terry trailer where everyone's after it? Oh. Yeah. Wait. Ribbon Girl? They're not going to let the second one be the one. Alright. No, not the third. It has to be like... Yeah, this doesn't feel right. What if Captain Falcon gets it? He likes ramen. What a, what a cool guy. This would be Min Min, right? It would be Min Min, because it showed ramen. They had a popularity contest in ARMS, and they said if Min Min won it, so does that mean that Min Min's going to be in Smash? That makes sense. I'm just surprised they did that. She did work at a ramen shop. Wasn't that her whole thing? Huh. Min Min. I'm about it. Not who I expected, but I'm about it. This is the first time in Smash history that the mascot has not been put in Smash. This is so strange, but I'm so about it. I'm surprised. That's crazy. The popularity and contest in ARMS is probably indicative of who got into Smash. And, again, that was Min Min, but... She, of course she can change arms. Of course she can. Alright. She has a counter? Reflect? Okay, different arms, different abilities. Ooh, can't wait to get F-Smash from across the stage! Ah, Kirby Min Min, they gave the people what they wanted. They knew they wanted to see that. This looks like a godlike casual stage, though. Ooh, the arms brawl out. As far as like DLC Final Smash should go, that looked pretty good. This did break the spirit rule, right? Isn't Min Min already? <laughs> I like Falcon in the background. That's gonna be a lot of Twitter profile pictures from now on. Yeah, because despite not liking the game ARMS, I thought the ARMS rep was going to be sick. Because, like, they got a lot of potential here. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked that it wasn't Springman Ribbon Girl just because the mascot. I was recommended by the producer of ARMS. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's revealing the plot to us. <laughs> Springman's not the protagonist. We're the protagonist. We are. We choose the path that we walk. <laughs> That's. I like that. It's very poetic. It's, it focuses on the big picture and to say that life is much bigger than Spring Man, you know? <laughs> like, I know Spring Man's on the box. He's on all the promo art. He's synonymous with... He's synonymous with arms. But you know what? We're the protagonists. The protagonist was inside all of us this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, no Min Min. I knew that. I knew that. A lot of people do love Min Min. Obviously, she won the popularity contest. So I'm happy for a lot of people who got that. And I'm hyped for this character. Because she has some shit. She looks fun. And this, like, this stage, casually, looks godlike. Oh, okay. So she looks very unorthodox if that's... Okay, so you can rotate the arms. Oh, oh. She's gonna be a poke character. This is gonna be a really weird moveset in Smash. She's definitely gonna be a zoner. This is... The fact that she can jump in it is what's scary to me. 
She can bend it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm getting too frightened by that shit, aren't I? <laughs> Imagine being off stage against that. No, thank you. But you can smash attack in the air. This character is going to be fun, but I'm scared. You know. And I assume A button. What does B button do? Oh. Can you do both at the same time? No, it looks like they're individual animations, but you can almost cancel them. Huh. This is a genuine distance demon. And she's not... Like, just by her walk speed, she doesn't look slow as hell. Oh, Jesus. That, that's a lot. Hmm. I think, I think this character is going to be good. Like, I haven't seen much of the character, but uh, this is already promising. Especially that you can control the arms in air, because I feel like there's no reason why you can't do this in the air, and oh my god, you can double up. Ooh. She looks fun. And we've only seen like three of her moves. So did they just confirm that her arms are invulnerable? They're not hurt boxes. That's insane. Because like, you know with plant down B, how like if you hit the head of plant, it still activates? That's completely disjointed. Her arms are disjointed. They're invincible. That. He just said if you dodge her attacks, they won't connect. But can't you jump? Can't you can't you jump and fall with it? Because I feel like if you do falling aerials with her, that's just such such an intense wall to get around. Yeah, the skill ceiling on this character is going to be very large. Because given that you can rotate arms and control both arms separately, I feel like there's going to be... Almost like the Olimar mentality where you're constantly thinking on like your Pikmin rotation and stuff like that. I think it's going to become something like that. Yeah. He's just describing how to beat zoners. You just want to, you just want to break the zone. Like that's all it really is. And this character looks like they are going to have a blind spot directly, like diagonally above them. They, they'll probably lose you jumping in on them. But they can always retreat. So you can... Down B is arms change. I assume up B is left arms change. Or you can only change the right arm. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> oh, ooh. I want to see this, though. This is where things get interesting. I really hope that all of them are good and have like their separate uses, like they all have niche uses because it would be kind of upsetting to introduce this change mechanic and then have just one arm be like dramatically better than the others. Mm -hmm. God, okay, so when I was just saying you can jump in against her, that looks like a zone break, that move, oh my god! Oh no! That! That was so safe! That was so safe! She was like covering roll at ledge and successfully edge guarded Ryu. I assume this one. It looks very active, and if you angle it down. Oh no, don't kill Mario at 46. That was charge, that was charge F smash. I think that's reasonable. This is laser. So this is going to be a long F smash plus a laser? This is going to be the zoner one. 
You press A again. Can you do you laser? Okay, it's not, it's not super long. I can't really imagine that move ever being useful. Alright, goodbye, Spring Man. It's <laughs> God, she can play doubles on her own. <laughs> she can edge guard two people at once. Yeah, no, I, no, I see that. That's insanity. Okay, show me the grab. Don't. Okay, for being a tether grab, that that range or the speed of it is not that bad. I expected that to be the laggiest option, and that's, that didn't look very bad. But luckily that grab range isn't insane, it just kind of looks like a Samus grab distance. Mm -hmm. Did they just describe meter? The normal version and the powered up version. How do I activate the power up? I might have missed that. Okay, so that's... Oh, wait, do they have different aerials? Oh, they have different frame data? That's... that's strange. Huh. Her frame data is just straight up different, depending on the move. Huh. This character looks good. This character looks really good. That's terrifying. The last time I felt this way was when I saw Joker. <laughs> and we all know how that went. Okay, she can kick. Oh, legs though? The Kung Fu combo. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, she's has Ryu input. I didn't expect Min Min to become the next Shoto. So you have tap and hold inputs, much like Ryu. Uh, somersault kick. That looks... That's... If that has kill power, that's terrifying. Oh, and Somersault Kick can reflect... Why? That's sick, but why? She could... <laughs> you could reflect punches. Imagine if Fox Up Smash reflected charge shot. Alright, she has a little, little dash attack. That's Fox dash attack. Putting... <sighs> Cloud down till... Oh! They gave her combos! And made her a zoner! Oh, oh no! That's Fox down smash! They made her zoner Fox! And that's zero suit up there! Oh my god! It's Fox zero suit as a zoner! That's, that's zero suit down downer! Oh no! Uh, yeah, this up special is arms jump. Okay. How does that work in the... Grounded distance isn't great, but it doesn't put you in special... Oh my god, you can charge it. That's not a bad recovery. You don't have a hitbox on it, so that's kind of shitty. But at this, it's it's fine. Distance is fine. And she looks like she has pretty good air mobility. Oh, not... Mm, the fact it doesn't put you in special fall is huge. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Game and watch! No! <laughs> the invincibility! <laughs> oh no! Just the fact that he got that so effortlessly multiple times. Oh. Oh. Even use a special on ground. Can I do a grounded up uppy? Funny special! Oh, sh okay, so uppy is tether. It's just a tether? Tethers are good now. Like, look at Joker. Like, she's gonna be gimped a lot, which I think that kind of balances. Having that tether kind of kind of balances it a little bit. Because otherwise, she just had all of these options. But, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair. It contains a special cinematic. The ARMS character designs are so good, though. 
Like, honestly, one of the best character designs for a game I've seen in years. It just, I wish I enjoyed ARMS, just because everything about it besides the gameplay is sick. And... I guess we got Spring Stadium and not like the ramen bowl. But, yeah. Ah, uh, could have been her. Could have been her? Could have been... Him? <laughs> yeah, the jumping platforms look really cool. This looks like such a godlike casual stage, though. Like, I cannot stress that one enough. What's her grab like? If, if you missed it, she just reaches out. It looks like the range is like Samus grab. The range isn't crazy, but the speed is good. Ooh, okay. Ceilings at the top. That's that's cool. I like this. I, I think I'm happy with Min Min. She looks very agile. She works as a good fighter. I'm just terrified for Fox the Zoner. Because I thought Jiggly Belmont of Ribbon Girl was scary in Bayonetta 2 with uh, Twintel. But I think Min Min's a happy median. I think this character looks sick. <gasps> it brings in items. This stage is casually perfect. Oh, th this stage is so good. I like to move on to the actual fighting. I feel like there's so much I don't know about her. I, I don't think I saw neutral B. I don't think I saw side B. Um, I don't even feel like I saw all her aerials. I feel like there's still so much I don't know about her. Oh, he's doing the 2v1. Flex on him. Okay, so arm arms. Don't exactly... This character is going to be so weird. No one's going to be able to do cool Min Min combos day one. Please watch my day one Min Min video. <laughs> she just looks so... complicated. I also thought that about, like, Hero, but that's just top deck and laugh. Because <laughs> right now it just looks like he's spamming F Smash and showing us what different arms. Oh, that... I think being able to two-frame people consistently from a safe distance is a scary thing with your invincible option. Like, the fact that the arms are... Oh my god. Remember when I said this character is complicated? I think Elite Smash is just going to be spamming F Smash. And people are going to learn how to deal with it. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm now seeing a lot of her dead zones, though. So I can't say for certain if she's going to be super good or not, but I, she's going to be better than Belmont's. So I can say that much. <laughs> Kirby used his copy ability and got murdered for it. He killed his child. <laughs> yeah, so what is Kirby's ability? Because your neutral B is one of the arms and neutral A is one of the arms. So does Kirby get stretchy? What happens? Yeah, I don't, I'm not trying to call a character broken before we even develop her. I'm just saying she looks like she has the potential, the potential to be broken. It's like when people said Smash 4 Shulk had the potential. I'm about it. As soon as I saw the ramen shop at the beginning, I should have known he was Min Min. I can't believe I hesitated on that one. God, Sakurai loves getting hit by these final smashes. He's showing off Kirby's final smashes as if he's a new character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the fact that she has, like, up-close options makes her better. Because I feel like that's what a lot of the zoners lack. But I think she, I think she has some sauce. I wish I could see the sauce, but I'm just saying F-smashing. That's good for covering rolls and spot dodge, because you can just send the other arm in. It looks like an animation cancel. Bro, Sakurai is, is camping. Oh, that was because of the jump pad. I was like, does that kill? That, that was because of the jump pad. Good victory theme. God, I can't stress. The music in this game is so good. It's so good. Yeah. I hope I enjoy playing as her. Does she come out today? Yeah, she did, did deal a lot of damage. Song list. I, like it. I just want Ribbon Girl theme. That's all I really want. All of it's good, but Ribbon Girl theme is what I want. Um, yeah, it just looks like all the songs are there. 
Yeah, that just feels like all the ARM songs I know. I just feel like they brought everything in there. Yeah, I was about to say, it just looks like all the music from ARMS. <laughs> so yeah, nailed it. That's a good render, though. That looks really good. Available June 29th. Oof. Oof. I, I have something very busy that day. I, I think I'm going to have to delay what I was doing. That's rough. Okay. Well, I'm... <laughs> All right, then. But we are working hard at it. So please stay tuned. Yeah, show me the me costumes. I assume it might not even be arms, because last with Violet, they just gave us, like, Ubisoft reps. Snap. Which character is getting deconfirmed today? Show me what you got, Sacker guy. Oh my god, he's just. Oh, I thought he was just gonna be invisible. <laughs> it was like the invisibility cat from Odyssey. <laughs> what if they just made me fighters invisible, dude? <laughs> That's the DLC costume I want. I want the invisibility cat. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Okay, Tekken. I'm surprised Ninjala of all characters, but they had this in uh, Smash 4, didn't they? They just not bring it back. And Splatoon. Callie Marie. Yeah, Callie. There you Ooh, those look so cursed. So absolutely cursed. But I'm about it. But God, they look cursed. Oh, they look so cursed. Oh, it just doesn't look right, especially Marie. <laughs> Cuphead, but again? Bro, what if they throw in Mickey Mouse? Oh! That... Huh. I mean, that's like the perfect me costume. I just never expected Fallout in uh, a Smash. That's... Oh. <laughs> Huh. A pretty decent variety there. Huh. No, none of the special ones? We don't have like a, a Sans Cuphead this time around? That's fine. That's... Huh. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so Callie Marie count as two separate ones. Okay, I didn't know if they were like... Bundle deal. Yeah, Vault Boy. Weird. It makes sense, because, like, uh, Vault Boy looks like one of the easiest costumes to make. But I just didn't expect Fallout and Smash. Normally Mega Man would be on your screen. Yeah, I think we knew this. Oh, I don't... That's such a weird thing to update us on. I don't think anybody, like, really noticed that. So if you notice anything, that's fine. Okay. Thanks. Ooh, the rematch feature. That's handy. Also, it wasn't Min Min, uh, a sticker, not sticker, a spirit. Because it wasn't a Spring Man, Ribbon Girl, Twin Tail, Ninjala, Min Min. Doesn't this just completely obliterate the fact that spirits can't be in Smash? Right? I think she was a spirit. So that opens doors for characters like Shantae and whatnot. That's pretty cool. I didn't think Spirits deconfirmed fighters, but I'm happy to have, like, official confirmation. So, yeah. That can... Uh, Gino is back in the in the running. Rex is back in the running. Uh, I guess Waluigi's back in the running, if you want to say that. Yeah, that does open the door for a lot of people. Oh, you can just rematch against Spirits. Oh. Oh, not even like spirits in the in the in the game, I guess. Like actual, um, you go back in your spirit collection. Do I get to collect more? 
Because I would love to like get additional. No. Then I do not care about this. Yeah, this means nothing to me. If I could like get old spirits again easily without playing through World of Light, I would have been happy to hear that. But that's not the case. So I do not care that much. Yeah, the... And I don't really get this. I mean, I guess it's just something else to do, because for a lot of people, like very, very casual players, they're just looking for something to do. And this is something to do, it's just not something I want to do, which is fine. Believe it or not, I will accept the fact that Sakurai did not tailor make this game for me. <laughs> Dude, you're telling me I did that shit without spirits. Some of them. Oh, like Pauline, huh? Huh? <laughs> Dude, remember my vanilla run, like my blind run in World of Light when I absolutely cheesed that? Or the AI cheesed me and just made it easy for me? That was funny. Oh, what is this? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> People complain about Pauline so much, he made a tutorial for it a full year later. <laughs> oh my god, y'all are babies! Okay, Calamity Ganon. Okay. <laughs> oh, show me one more. Show me how to beat Dr. Wily. <laughs> I can't believe this. This feels condescending. Like, I understand that people genuinely struggled with these, but he's just like, for you babies. <laughs> he's showing us the 100 man melee strat. Oh my god. He's trolling so hard. Bro, Ness's father, he was just invisible. Use a black hole and then use Ganon. <laughs> The music doesn't help. This just feels very backhanded somehow. And it just doesn't stop. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Still struggling with World of Light in the year 2020. But honestly, his cheese strats are, are pretty good. He has uh, officially broken his own game. Because I saw everyone complain about this one as well. This is so insulting to everyone's effort. <laughs> So many people spend hours trying to beat one spirit, and he's like, for, for you idiots, use this spirit combination. <laughs> oh. I wish Sakurai had a YouTube channel, and he just did all of this. He's like, you guys really complain about Bayonetta in Smash 4? Here is the counterplay. <laughs> yeah, I forget you can do spirits with multiple people. I'm just so excited to play Min Min. We got a week, but Min Min, nice. Amiibo. Been a while. Show me the Joker. Oof. Yeah, all the main fighters, and I own all of them. And I put them all <laughs> in a box. Uh, hold up, I, I I'm, my headphones uh, are Oh, are they just going to announce? New. Oh. oh. That's the best looking amiibo. That looks so good. They didn't just give him a little bar, they gave him a blue flame that's so aesthetically perfect. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Do I get a separate Arsen amiibo? <laughs> but that looks really good. That looks phenomenal. Oh my god, are we releasing four hero amiibos, please? <laughs> That's a lot. Would Square allow that? Yep, okay, so there's one. That one doesn't look as good. I think the texture on the shirt looks a little weird. The hair looks stiff. It looks good, but like Joker just blows it out of the water. Yeah, I mean, they 
it makes sense that they'd release them in uh, intervals of two, but God, Joker looks so good. What? He, he's talking about Dragon Ball. <laughs> uh, 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 I mean, never in a Smash Direct has he talked about Dragon Ball. He did mention Goku. Which Goku's voice actor is already in Smash. He's Lucario. I guess that's English. I don't know about Japan. What? That's not true. That's not true. They're using the same voice lines as 64? That can't be true. That's actually true. Oh my god, he wanted to put Final Smashes in 64. I think I read that in an article a long time ago. Hmm. God, I wish I could tell you yes! The world has gone to hell <laughs> since you recorded this on May 2nd. <laughs> Yeah, I understand the optimism, but oh, that, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm excited. I really like that trailer. Just the art style was really good for the Min Min trailer. Mm. Oh my god, he was really optimistic. Wow. Well, continue doing what you're doing, brother. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're welcome for watching this video. Oh, goodbye. He didn't count in Braille this time. Huh. All right. <clears throat> so let's talk about it. Uh, yoink. Oh. <laughs> Slinky Sakurai strikes again. <laughs> uh, short answer. Min Min. Hype. Arms. Sucks. Midman, good. Oh, I meant binary, not count in braille. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I meant count in binary. Yeah, I don't think you can count in braille. I don't think I, I don't think you can vocalize the braille. I feel like that kind of defeats the point. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Um, wow, I have an absurd amount of viewers. I just looked at the viewer count for the first time. And it feels obscene that I'm going to say goodbye to that. Um, I was going to play her on stream, but obviously that's not the case, you know, because um, she's... Where, where, where did I... Where tab go? Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, so... I don't, I don't know how to feel about this, you say. I'm, I'm happy about this. I think this is hype. Just because... I think this character can become very cool, and she looks fun. And that's all I really care about at the end of the day. I don't really care if I know a series, or like a series, or anything like that. I might be disappointed at the initial announcement, but as long as the character's fun, that's all that really matters to me. Got a week. We got a week. Of course we have a week. So, let me tell you guys something. Every single time a Smash character has been revealed, I have been out of town. I have been quarantined for the past three months, and I have something, for the first time, I have something very busy, very important that I have to do, starting June 29th. And for Joker, I was in Costa Rica. For, no, to Plant, I was in Costa Rica. For Joker, I was going to be in London. For Hero, I was at Evo. And for Banjo, I think for Banjo and Terry, I was home because I planned around them. <laughs> I planned around them specifically. And then... For Byleth, I was home, but that, that's fine. So it just makes sense that, of course, when I travel, they're just like, yeah, June 29th. 
Anyways, I don't really have too much more to say. I'll just upload this as an edited thing. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. You had a lot of avenues to go watch this direct, and I'm happy that some of you guys came through and watched it with me. Um, I do think that was probably one of the best cinematics, visually, of any opening trailer. And... Min Min. I'm about it. And... Uh, see ya.